before Christmas. Not a better time to get some beaver sets out. <laughs> I'll show you guys in some different shots, but there's a stream that runs through here, through the back side of our land and then way down turns into a trout creek, but we got a beaver pond up here. <laughs> I'm finding all kinds of sign up and down here all the way up into the pond, so there's this perfect spot right here. I'll show you guys kind of how this funnels, but it's just naturally a perfect spot for a 330. We got a little feeder station here and there's a little, I mean literally the perfect size for a 330 to go right in here. So I'm gonna tuck this in here <laughs> And uh, hopefully we can get either a beaver or an otter that comes traveling through here. So we're going to get this set up. Let's try to deepen the spot out where we put the trap. Just at a good level. Got our Bridger 330. Normally used Duke, but this is all Cabela's had in stock. Always keep your safety. Safety, uh, safety pins on until the trap is completely secure. It's as simple and as effective of a set I think you can possibly get in a place like this. So, on to the next one. Guys, set number two. This here is the main dam. It runs all the way across the marsh, kind of ends up back by the woods here. And this was packed pretty solid up until I cut this uh, this little uh, this little drain here. So I'm hoping they hear this within you know the next few hours from the lodge over there. And uh, we're gonna pack another 330 in here, and hopefully we can catch one coming to patch this hole up. Go. We've had our traps out for a few days, three total I think. Uh, on our way to the land right now, we're almost there. From what I've been told, there are a couple traps that are that are sprung. Uh, they were looking through the binoculars down to the pond and couldn't see if there's anything in them, but. Where we have these traps set, if they're sprung, there's really no reason there shouldn't be anything in them. So I'm feeling optimistic that we have our uh, our first successful traps of the season. So stay tuned. So we've had our traps out for two days. Um, I recorded myself the other day setting those first initial few. We moved them all yesterday because Ryan thought it would be much better to have them in a different spot, which he turned out to be right because I think like three and a half hours after we had him set, he couldn't help himself and took a walk down here and uh, 
said we had something. So I think we may have our first beaver of the year, but let's go find out. So this is what they're coming to eat. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner right there. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, buddy. Woohoo! Oh, I got him by the head. He said I had him by the tail. That's big beaver. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Oh. That's what we were looking for right there, baby. God damn, that's a big one, dude. So while we're getting him taken care of and getting me set up, these guys are out fishing. They just pulled a pike off the pond. It's been hot out here the past few days, pike and bluegill. <laughs> Ooh. So we're gonna put this right back in the same spot. Essentially what we're doing here is, if you look over there, there's a little muskrat hut there that the beavers, and I think otters, and I think everything's jumping up onto. Then they're coming under the ice, and they're coming up in these open spots here. So we caught him in this run, but if you come down here, watch your step. You can see where we got that other run set up. So really, if they come this direction, they're gonna go through these one of these two spots. So I think we put it back in the same spot and see what happens. Look at that. It sits right there all on its own. Safety pins off. Ready to catch another one. That's a good day, man. First beaver of the year, my first one in a really long time and it took two days, so. I'm pumped. I'm super pumped. All right, let's get him packed up and uh, we'll get him out of here. So we, Almost forgot to check our last trap here, and it looks like there's something in this one, too. Little muskrat! First muskrat of the year in a 330 kind of bear. Actually, yeah. yeah. I was looking at his mouth. Ooh, he probably did not live very long uh, after that slammed. Double baby, two out of four sets, can't beat that. All right, checking traps, I think day four or five here. First couple were empty. We thought we had lost a, 
a 330 that had moved a little bit on us, but I hopped up on, uh, it, it gets deep out there, I can't walk any farther, but I hopped up on the muskrat house and was able to see that, uh, I think we have our second beaver of the year. So let's take a look. Yeah, waiters. I know, but it's sick. it gets deep so fast. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That spot is dynamite. There's so many different animals. That might be bigger. <laughs> Holy smokes. Wow. And you thought it wasn't as big. Wow. Yeah, that, that looks... might be bigger than the last one. <laughs> Wow. Oh, this is awesome. I love this shit. Oh, get a look at him. I can't zoom out anymore. I can't get you all in here. <laughs> That's what we're looking for, man. Yeah, there's another big one. That's two two big ones. I think, I think we probably got the two adults in the pond now. I think we probably are good on trapping this pond. It's amazing how sometimes keep it simple, like Ryan said. I mean, we've had our traps within 15 feet of this little homemade dock, and the results that it's produced is just insane. I mean, we thought we had a big one the other day. Look at that thing. I think that's bigger than the last one. Gotta get a weight. Holy man. All right, well, one more trap to check, and then uh, get out of here before the sun goes down. Good bonus coon to cap off the week. I think we're gonna pull our sets for the most part and let the ice uh, start to build. It's supposed to be in the 30s and the 20s over the next week or so. So we're gonna get everything out. And then once the ice builds, we'll get some more traps put out on the backside by the lodge. But until then, it's not bad, man. Out of four sets, four or five critters in a matter of a few days. Two of the biggest beaver, but beavers I've seen in quite some time. So. Uh, I'd call it a good week. Stay tuned.